So building on that last, let's do the full if else, and then um, we'll also discuss if else, or else if rather, sorry. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll delete this again and we'll rewrite this again. And so now what we want to say is like, what, let's consider if else statements. So again, the syntax for an if statement, if, and in um, parentheses, the rules to this if, then the actual code of this if is in curly braces, and we want to keep our structure decent. Um, then, if you wanted to throw in an else statement, you would throw else here, and then there are no, there's no rules to an else, because the else rules already exist. If this is not the case, then do this. So then, again, curly braces, and you're going to specify stuff within here. So let's do some work with age. And I'll also show you again with the assignment operator of equal equals versus equal equal equal. Um, so let's say if dollar sign age equal equal 99, right? So now we're using the integer value instead of the string value. Echo true, we'll just do this. Um, else we'll have it echo false. We'll save that, throw it up on the server, refresh the page, and it equals true. But as I was telling you before, now let's compare not only you know value but data type. Save that, put it up on the server, and refresh the answer is false because it is not the case. Now you can start to get quite dynamic with uh, if and else statements. So another thing that you can do is say you just you don't want to have this. So you could in theory you could run another if statement. If dollar sign age and let's turn this into an integer so we can use some other comparisons. Again, I'll go over uh, comparisons um, in another tutorial, but let's just use a greater than sign. So this is going to say if age is greater than, let's say, 50. Then we'll put in our brackets what we want to do. Echo, it is greater than 50. So even if this if statement is true, this if statement is still going to run. So let's save this and we'll run it. And we didn't use any breaks, but we got true and then it is greater than 50. So both of these statements ran even though this was true. But as you remember before, if we made this the else statement, and we'll just do it is not, and refresh, and we didn't do a, this. Always like to forget those semicolons. Anyway. It, it never ran the actual it is not because it was true. It's an if else. But then the other thing you can do is if age uh, equals, let's say we want to do 100. Now that else will be triggered. So we'll refresh and it says it is not. But another thing that you can do is what is called else if. And an else if statement is very similar to an if. So you can do else if, put in your parameters, age equals, uh, let's do, uh, we'll do 99 just to show you a success. Same thing as before, and then we'll echo, it does indeed equal 99. Close that off, save it, throw it up to the, or the uh, server, save, and then you get it does indeed equal 99, right? 
So it's another if statement that before I showed you, if you just had two if statements, both if statements would indeed run, even if one was true and the other one you know, was true. This one, however, won't run again if um, we are right in the first one. So as you can see, we'll refresh again. It just says true. It never got to the next one because it's an else if. And then finally, um, you could have um, just an ending else statement um, down here, just like you've got, because this is really an if-ish statement. Um, so you can end with else um, echo nothing worked something like that, right? And so neither of these will be true. We'll put this up on the server, refresh the page, and you got nothing worked. So uh, naturally there's a lot of different uh, ways that you can use this and kind of work with the if, else, else, if um, logic because uh, the else if is just a good way that it will only ask that question if the first question was not the case. Whereas like an else is kind of like a default, like, okay, well, if we didn't find anything, just do this, you know? So anyway, keep playing around with that till you're uh, pretty comfortable. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and until next time.